Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, addition of fractions. No? And dito sa video na to ang pag-uusapan natin ay mixed fractions. Kung napanood niyo yung AF1, AF1 to AF3, no? AF1, AF2, and AF3, diniscuss na natin dun yung similar and dissimilar fractions. No? And in this video, ang mag-focus tayo on uh, mixed fractions. Now, sa AF1 tsaka AF, AF1 up to AF3, nag-touch uh, tayo ng konti dyan ng uh, uh, mixed fractions. No? Pero dito sa video na to, yun na yung focus natin. So, let's have our first example. What is 2 and 1 third plus 5 and 1 fourth? No? So, ang Unang strategy, no, this is the longer longer strategy, is to convert these fractions into improper. No? So, longer strategy. Convert a mixed fraction to improper fraction. Bago mag-add. No? So, paano ba tayo nag-convert ng uh, mixed to improper Nagta-times tayo tapos nagpa-plus, di ba? So, this is 2 and 1 third. Automatic. 3 din ang ano niyan, di ba? 3 din ang kanyang denominator. Whatever the denominator here, uh, yun yung denominator dito. So, ang gagawin natin is we multiply and then we add, no? So, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, ito naman, ganun din. 4 din yung denominator niya. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21 over 4. No? So, saka lang tayo mag-add. No? Again, 3 and 4, ang LCD natin dyan, pwede nyo i-check. No? 3 and 4, using the ladder method, may, pwede ba tayo i-divide na prime? 2, di ba? So, 3, uh, tapos 2. No? Uh, ito yung ladder method natin, mag 3 divided by 2, pag hindi pwede, kakapi na natin yung 3. Tapos, 4 divided by 2 uh, equals 2. No? Yung pwede lang natin na divisor, yung mga prime numbers. No? At pag nakita na natin na prime na lahat, pwede tayong uh, mag-multiply na. Panoorin nyo yung previous na video no? kasi doon ko yun explain So, since puro prime na ito, pwede na natin i-multiply. 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. So, ibig sabihin, we convert this... Um, fractions into fractions na may denominator na 12. So, this one, ito siya. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 7, this is 28. And 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 21 is 63. So, magiging 11, no? Is it 91? 91 over 12. Okay? So, 91 over 12 can uh, depend sa instructor ninyo or sa teacher ninyo kung uh, tatanggapin niya na yung uh, improper fraction. So, pag tatanggapin niya, okay na to. Pero kung hindi, gagawin natin itong ano, no? Uh, mixed. So, 91 divided by 12. Is it 7? 84? Tama? So, 11, 7. This is your uh, denominator. This is your denominator, yung 12, no? Siyempre, 12 pa rin. Tapos, yung numerator mo is, ito, 7 over 12. Tapos, meron ka ng mixed or whole number. So, 7 and 7 over 12. Again, this is the denominator, yung 12. Ito yung uh, whole number. Ito yung numerator. So, pag this is from uh, mixed fraction to improper fraction. Okay? I think may separate tayong video dyan, no? With several examples. Pero I think nasusundan nyo naman, ano? Now, this is the long cut, no? Sabi ko kanina sa inyo, ang method, this is method 1, no? This is method 1. And this is very, very long. Ang problema mo sa pag ganitong method, 
ang lalaki ng mga numbers kasi di ba gagawin mo siyang improper. So pag ginagawa mong improper yung mix, lumalaki yung mga numbers, lalo na yung numerator, di ba? Kasi lalaki yan. So ang tendency, pag malalaki itong numbers na to mas malaki yung chance na magkamali. Para magkamali kayo ng addition under time pressure. So yun. Ang method 2, no? this is method 1. Yung method 2, pinag-aralan na natin yan from the previous 3 videos, no? So, ang sabi natin, i-keep muna na lang natin yung ano, or pagsamahin natin yung yung uh, whole numbers, no? So, 5 tsaka 2. 2 plus 5, kumari. Tsaka natin i-plus yung, no? Pwede muna natin itabi muna yan. Yung 5 plus 2, 7 na yan, di ba? So, pwede muna natin itabi yung 7. Tapos si add na lang natin yung fractions, di ba? So, meron tayong 7. Nakarid siya pa rin din natin makalimutan. So, tapos i-add natin yung 1 third tsaka 1 fourth. Again, we have the LCD is 12. Nakuha na natin, di ba? So, plus 12. So, 12 divided by 3. This is 4. 12 divided by 4. This is 3. This is 7 over 12. Tapos meron kang 7 dito, kaya siya magiging 7. And 7 over 12. Tignan nyo kung gaano ka-exe ito no, kumpara dito. Mas ma-exe sa dihamak. Tsaka mas maliliti yung numbers na dinideal with natin. So that's the reason why it's not advisable to use this strategy. Or I don't know if you can call that strategy. May, maybe method. No? Ah, mas okay na pag sa addition, pagsamahin na lang muna yung... Pagsamahin mo yung mga numbers, whole numbers, tapos pagsamahin mo yung mga fractions. Mas madali mag-add no? Mas liliit yung mga numbers. Okay? So, maybe we'll have uh, one more example. What about 3 uh, and 4 fifth plus 2 and 1 third plus 3 fourth? So, Tulad ng advice natin kanina, pagsamahin na natin itong dalawang uh, whole numbers. So, magiging 5 na yan. No? So, meron tayong 5 dito na katabi. Now, ang i-add natin ngayon is 4 fifth plus 1 third plus 3 fourth. Okay? So, actually, alam ko na ito, no? pero pakita pa rin natin para at least consistent. We write these uh, numbers here. 5, 3, 4. Meron kasi tayong isang hindi prime. No? So, just, uh, may may strategy dito pero hindi ko na ituturo kasi mas nakakalito pag marami kayong tatandaan. So, basta pag may nakita kayong hindi prime, di gawin na lang natin. So, divided by 2, kunwari. 2 is prime. So, 5 divided by 2 cannot be. So, just bring down 5. 3 divided by 2 cannot be. Just bring down 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Prime na ba lahat? Yes. So, ano na, ang, ano na ngayon yung, ano, yung LCM natin? The LCM is the product of these numbers. So, 2 times 5, that's 10 times 3, 30 times 2. 60, di ba? Tama. 2 times 5, 10, 30, 60. Ibig sabihin sabi itong tatlong to, pwede na itong 60 ang denominator. No? Plus... 60. Okay, 60 divided by 5. Alam yan, 12 times 4. This is 48, no? And then 60 divided by 3. That's 20 times 1. This is 20. Next, we have 60 divided by 4. 15 times 3, 45. Baka medyo malalaking numbers nga ito. Pero 68 na ito, di ba? Plus 45. So 68, manumano na natin. Plus 45, that's 13, carry 1. 113, no? So that's 113 over 60. Okay. Question, improper yan. Improper ito, di ba? So ang gagawin natin is to uh, gawin natin mixed, no? Remember, may 5 pa tayo dito, no? So 113 divided by 60. 120 yung ano, di ba? So isa lang talaga. 60, this is 53. Again, this is the whole number. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. No? 
So, magiging 1 and 53 over 60. No? Ito yung sagot sa fractions, pero may 5 ka pa dito. So, nang gagawin mo, you combine the two whole numbers. So, magiging 6 and 53 over 60. Plus 5 lang tayo dito. This is plus 5. Okay, kasi dito siyang galing. So, ang pinakasagot natin dito is 6 and 53 over 60. Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, meron kayong natutunan sa video na to. Gusto kayong invite sa Sipnayan, no? yung ating website. Nandiyan lahat yung mga videos natin na nakalist. No? Nakalink yan sa YouTube but uh, the list contains um, yung mga series natin na naka-chronological order. No? So, dapat panoorin nyo in that order. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.